Okay, so I'm working on a 2011 Kia Optima. I have to do the struts, replace the fully loaded struts. I'm gonna replace the stabilizer end links. It's gotta come off and I'm not putting on old stuff. Um, but I'm trying to get the brake rotor off and I was just gonna get a quick tip on these, on when these, um, uh, these are actually the assembly line hold down um, screws. They're bolts with a screw head for the rotor on the production line. Um, it's a 50-50. Some people say they have to go back on, some don't. Um, but it's something you have to buy optional. I usually, if they don't, if I don't strip them, I put them back on, but I lube them. These are Loctite and, and probably rusted. So I'm going to show you how I get them out when they're stuck. So let me try to prop this up. All right, so what I normally do is usually try the screwdriver, make sure it's got a fat head on there so you don't strip it. What I try to do is loosen a little bit. It's not going to go, so I actually try to tighten it. It kind of go back and forth like that. But as you can see, this is been off before it's kind of stripped so what I normally do at this point is I'll spray them with some PB blaster wear eye protection don't go blasting it just a little squirt and so that gets in there you hit the rotor wear safety glasses earplugs then I'll use a a fat um, Phillips. Make sure it's in there. Tap it. You may have to use this to hold it. You're turning. It's got to stick your leg underneath there. You don't want to snap off there, you'd be cutting the rotor. And this is if you don't want to use a torch. And I'm going to try to tighten it. I'm trying to work that PB blast in there. <sighs> All right, I felt some movement. That's why I hit the rotor to vibrate it to break it free. It's a little ratchet. You can't get a lot of leverage. So. <sighs> All right. You got to watch because you might think it's coming. And what's happening is this is twisting. So I'm going to work on the bottom one. Here that squeak, that was in there. So now you know it's coming out. Let me just get this one out so I can make this video quick. This is for those who don't have a torch. And I'm not talking map gas either. I'm talking a torch. You heat these up. You usually heat them up, rotate it over here, away from the caliper, wear safety glasses, make sure you have a fire extinguisher. Nothing else flammable like PB Blaster. Uh, so this is the screw the bolt that holds this. Trust me, this ain't gonna hold this in if the wheel, if something fails. Not even two of them. That's how you get them out. I'll get this one off. And also that's how you get the rotor off too, because once I get this off, get the caliper off, the caliper bracket, this rotor may be fused. Beat it with the hammer and then go on the back side. I'm gonna have to turn the wheel, hit it on the back side. Make sure the key is out of the ignition. I have set off in almost 30 years of doing this <laughs> two airbags but that was back in the early 90s when they first came out in the cars they're a little less they were more sensitive i think you can tell how tight that was in how tight that was in there now i can reuse them which i normally don't like to so it's not my vehicle it's the customers and there's the other one all right. You can see how dry it was in there on those threads. This is on a 2011 Kia Optima. Thank you for watching.